If you live in Lagos or visiting Lagos, the commercial nerve center of Nigeria, and with a population of over 20 million persons, you would notice that traffic is almost a daily life situation. To ease this burden, the Lagos State Government have put in place Lagos State Traffic Management Authority, LASMA, to control the traffic situation. But as you would imagine, it is still overwhelming. Well, recently we began to notice a different kind of traffic warden on the Lagos Island part, not employed by the government, but on voluntary basis. They are physically challenged. Ismail and Ibrahim used to be beggars, but after Lagos state government placed a ban on begging, they decided to do something different. <laughs> Motorists attest to the fact that their voluntary services have been quite helpful while calling for some sort of formal payment be made to them. We really thank God for them, that they are here. If not, you know, there will be a lot of traffic. They are helping us here very well. And we want government, at least if they can do something for them, maybe little things in the end, at the end of the month. Because we really like that. We too that are driving always give them something. If not because of them, there will be a lot of traffic over here. Most times when I pass around, I saw the, that particular guy there doing some traffic and uh, work there. I, I'm encouraged because one, they are giving them a kind of um, privilege to also try and um, use their skills, you know, and they can also add to the uh, society by also doing some other work like that. It's very good. So that would be so a kind of an encouragement to other people so that they will not look down on anybody that is, um, they are also women be like us. So for me, it's, it's encouraging and I think it's a very better idea. I will support them at the same time just because of uh, uh, the traffic men are not much and the, the, the last man are not here and the, the policemen are not here, the PCRC members are not here, which I'm one of the members, but uh, uh, it's okay, we support them. At least if government can, Lagos State government can look away, look at a, look at a way they can just reach out to this one by giving them other uniforms to, you know, perform this duty they are doing at the same time. If the government can able to reach out to them with some little, little funds every month, you know, so to encourage them to do what they are doing instead of then going on the street begging people money. This uniform, government does not give me this uniform. So the work what they do inside this order. Many people that go see me, they go give me something I go buy. So now the thing I go take buy this uniform because now him be my uniform, now him be ID card. I doubt if the community were the one that contracted them. I, I believe they are volunteers. But however, whichever way, I think the community should take advantage in the sense that they've changed from, instead of begging, they've decided to, to volunteer their service in controlling traffic. And basically they are trying, I remember um, sometime, was it early, early January or between early January and late December, I can't place it at um, going close to a core roundabout. If you're coming out from a tea, it's me and the other ending. You, there's this crippled guy, each time I close from work, I'm always seeing him there around four, five, six. He's doing an amazing job there because usually that place used to be a spot for heavy traffic. Everybody wants to move. And so if um, we are the local government chair lady or if there's a way we can get across to her, let her just take advantage and recruit them. And even if it's just a commission, it should be placed on it. Or something. In a separate event, we caught up with Princess Rashida Adu, the executive chairman at Tusa local government area, where they serve, and she says this of them. For the traffic um, uh, officers that you said you see, they, they've attached themselves to the local government. Sincerely, I didn't give them jackets because I saw them too on the road and uh, I approached them. 
when I see them, I just give them money because I believe that they are looking for what to put in their mouth. And uh, sometimes I call them to the office. I said, I don't want to be seeing you at the roundabout because of your own security. You never can tell. A vehicle can be coming now and something will happen. I am the first point of call. Because of that, I try to discourage them from being controlling the traffic. But because they now told me that this is what they get. At least people that are passing, the motorists, they will give them, they will tip them and all that. I said, okay, what do you think we can do that will bring money to you? And some came, they said they want to go back to their villages. And I gave them money. I said, okay, when you get back to your village, what will you be doing? One said we'll be doing shoemaker. One said one said it will be selling a provision. And I said, okay, how much do you think that will cost? And they mentioned the money. Very ridiculous. But in my own uh, uh, little way, I gave to them. And I asked them to go back. Funny enough, they didn't go back. You will still see these same people on the road controlling traffic. So what do you do? There's nothing you do about it. Because in a way, they are, that is how they get their own livelihood, you know, and stopping them from doing it will be a harm to them. And I don't want to harm anybody. As much as I want to add, or, uh, add uh, value to the life of the people around Hero Victoria Island, I think since they said that is what they want to do, let them continue doing it. However, motorists like Carlo on the contrary feels they are not needed all the time. It could be better when uh, there's much traffic, but now there is no traffic. Uh, it's staying here is not uh, all that uh, conducive now because me, I suppose, I've already passed. While doing their bit to ease off the traffic, Ibrahim acknowledges that they meet motorists who sometimes are impatient with them. I don't forget for the that day. I just stopped the one person for this job. The time when you come block the, the road, I say stop, make it one person pass. So that time, for this man, I beg and beg and say, stop. You know what's up? You ready to jam me for the motto? You don't know, say, you see me, say, me, I am this apple. Why not stop? I know they stop him for nothing. Because he come blocking the road. He come show me, say, he get power. He block me for this, my eyes. Remain small, he will scatter my eyes. Well, with over 1.6 million vehicles plying Lagos roads daily, just maybe volunteers like Ibrahim and Ismail are a great asset aiding government strategies to tackle high volume traffic across the state. For Plus TV Africa, Amaka Okoye.